Hello, everyone. Sam is here from creativetradingsystem.com, uh, making this a small video about uh, Bitcoin. All right. So let's get started. Last week, I made uh, a video also uh, on Bitcoin alone. So I'm just uh, making a follow up uh, for that video. So uh, uh, this one is uh, a weekly chart I had uh, 20, uh, 28th February. And it shows uh, edger wave, like we have one, two, three, four. I said, this could be the end of wave three, maybe here or maybe to these highs, right? And then it may drop for wave four. So the question was that, is it finished here or it may go to the upside a little bit and then drop, right? That always is a very difficult thing to uh, see that, you know, if the wave is about to finish, especially the impulse wave, because it has power. So what happened to this chart next was that you can look at this. And this is uh, uh, this one was like a, a MT4 chart. And this chart I made on um, uh, trading view, right? So the, what happened, the price went up from these highs a little bit more to the upside. And then it started to drop here. Then it went up. And at this time, I made the chart. That was February, at the end of February, then March. April, and then this is on, uh, in May, 27th May, I made the chart that, okay, this is the end of wave three, and this is A, B, and C will finish wave four here around 38% of wave three. So to this chart, what happened? It started to come down. I made another chart in June. It was still there, ranging, ranging, ranging. And this one again, 12 June, ranging, ranging, ranging. This is again in M 4 and then it started to drop nicely. This is June 24th, right? So this is my sell order as well, short, uh, from uh, obviously my system 20-minute uh, chart. So this is uh, nicely dropping, and I says, okay, it is coming down here. Uh, I'm going to finish with C of F4, and then you see that it was coming down very nicely, and then in, in between here, I thought maybe it is gonna go up from here, uh, maybe this is where four ending, and then this is where one, two, and three, right? So a lot of people were talking about that. So I said, maybe that's the case. Yeah, you know, who knows? But my take was still that this is where it's bought for where four, uh, and this has to be only A, this is B, and then we will come down below A for C. That is usually the regular flat correction uh, happens this, this way, right? Uh, B is a little bit less than 3, and C should be a little bit lower, not less than, but lower than A. So B should be a little lower than 3. So C supposed, supposed, supposedly be coming down to this, uh, I think, like, uh, wave 56, 56, 552. That's the number, right? It's uh, hidden there. So, um, and then what happened to this chart as of uh, July 5th is this. They came nicely and hit this uh, area, 38%, right? So at that time, I had a couple of short here. And then I says, okay, now it looks like that, or seems like the wave, uh, 30, uh, 30, I mean, uh, around 38%, this, this wave four is finished. And then we, now we're probably going to go up for wave five. So I made this new chart saying that, okay, this is a before chart now, then we will probably will go up for the, the target of wave five and going to the upside and then now coming down and going to the upside the trades i had for example this was a little bit you know in between uh probably like a couple of weeks ago and when it was going to the upside we were trying to go to the upside so i had this nice little long then it just started to come down so i caught this uh, down move this is the trade to the downside right and the next trade would be after Today, when we hit this 38% uh, for wave four, when I made the chart that it's gonna go up, and then we start to go up here, and then gave me the nice entry, and from 52.208 to 56, sorry, 55.208 to 56.494. So this is the long that I had, and uh, long, and then a short, and then long, and uh, you know, nice and clean. This wave four is finished, I think, right? C is a little bit lower. It's supposed to be coming to a little bit lower than A, and which I did, uh, uh, you know, see that it came down here. Uh, so I said, okay, we're going to be making uh, a move to the upside then, right? So it is, it is going to go to the upside now. And uh, hopefully, like this one, this low here, right? 
This is the key level for now, 56,552. So we must go upside and above this area and stay above it, then we can go to the upside. So I will be looking for uh, uh, to the upside here. Now, this is my 40 minute chart and you can see that this is like wave one, two, three, all the way here. Then this was A, B, C, wave four, and then we nicely draw for wave five here. And from there, we start to go up a little bit, right? So this this put probably be like this wave one and two, and then this is wave three, A, B, C, four. We may go up a little bit more to for wave five, maybe this low here, that would be wave one. And then we will come down again for A, B, C fashion for wave two before we go for up, uh, uh, for wave three to the upside. Right? So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, this is how the daily chart looks like. I'm making the chart for my subscriber now. So this is wave three ending with A, B, C, wave four ending. And now we're probably going to be riding to the upside for wave five somewhere there. Okay, and usually wave five is like 38, uh, not 30, 127% off. Wave four, which is around here, and 161 is around here. So these are the two extension level for wave five, usually. Let's see how this thing is going to do, right? So this is it for now, and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get my videos on time and you can take advantage of those and uh, you have uh, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Tomorrow's Saturday, then Sunday, right? Tomorrow for me is fishing day. And then when I come back in the evening, I'll make some new charts for my subscribers before charts with the setups and all of that. And I'll send up. So uh, if you want to be a part of my group and you want to learn all this mumbo jumbo, Elliot Wave, Harmonic Pattern, this, that, and go on my website here, creativetradingsystem.com, and subscribe or sign up for one-on-one, -on -one, whatever suits you, right? And uh, it, you know, start from there, right? So bye for now, and hopefully uh, talk to you guys later soon. Maybe Sunday I'll make another video.